And then he comes back a week later and says, uh, they said yes. I actually listened to a podcast that you did, uh, oh. which I, f- I forget who was with them, but it was so good. It was like an hour and 20 minute long podcast, but I was just like, really, really just, it drew me in. And like your story is just so, it's, it, there's so many facets to it. And you were talking about um, like working with Nike and like how that all went down and how you started like designing sneakers. Yeah. And I, I thought a great line from that was they were talking about like you were going to come and maybe just do like the same tattoo for a bunch of people at the party. And uh, like someone one of your boys said, no, man, don't, you know, don't do that. You got to go as like a guest because that puts you as a, on the same plane yeah. as other people at the party. And I thought that was just such a brilliant um like just it was such a brilliant comment by your friend or whoever that was i don't know exactly who told you to do that but it was like yeah you don't want to be like a circus act at the party like the guy like you know you want to you know and and i think that really made a big difference no like going in with that mindset it really kind of set the stage for like this huge thing that came up yeah i mean for the background of people that didn't hear that i think it might have been npr or something like that one of those official podcast things but um they go, how'd you get your Nike deal? And first I just kind of knocked on the door. Some guy I knew it worked at Nike. And uh, Nike's important at the main office, but they have Southern California and New York offices that are real strong, right? So anyways, my buddy, I hit my buddy up and he was like, yeah, man, he goes, you know, a lot of people want to do shoes, bro. I was like, man, I thought he'd be more hyped, you know what I mean? And uh, he goes, but let me think about it, bro. So he calls me like a week later, my boy B went good dude man and he was like I got it I got you 10 racks $10,000 I'm gonna fly you to New York first class put you up in a boutique hotel and you just gotta go there and just tattoo one of your friends bro it's mainly for visuals for you to be there because they're introducing laser technology onto the shoe and I go wow that, that, that does sound pretty good you know what I mean and uh I ended up turning down that offer and said, uh, no man, but I'll go there if they want to fly me out as a designer, like as one of the peers there. Cause all my heroes in the shoe game were going to be there. Right. And the guy told me, man, you, you fucked it all up. You know, this, and I was like, oh man, I did, you know? And then he comes back a week later and says, uh, they said, yes. Wow. Now it ended up turning into my shoe career. And so by pushing that 10 grand, that was very, very tempting, right? And even if I would have took it, I'd, I might have been okay down the line. But I had to roll the dice on it and, and take a chance on myself that, you know what? That, you're right. I, I do deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> 